Hello, welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Guys, it's Friday. Yay. Yay, I'm so happy. So, so happy. But um, I obviously, you guys already know that on Tea Time, we'll give you real good vibes, music, guests, basketballs, television, vibes, you know. So go and grab your tea, coffee. If it's cold, because then it's about to rain, or if it's already raining, grab your blanket, your tea with us, and just sit down, relax, and be entertained. And when I say us, I am with my namesake, What's good? The in, in, in my in, in. <laughs> if I lost you, okay, what's, what's up? Popping, man? How's I'm it blessed, going? I'm blessed. I'm blessed. It's Friday. Yes, I it is. Me are me you me. looking forward to this? I am. What are you? What are you? It's planning? my birthday weekend as well. Yay! We're turning up, guys. We will send you guys the location. It's free for all. Ah, Alpha. Drinks on the fair. You do know how to stand outside the gates. <laughs> no drinks on the fair. Drinks on the fair. Food, everything. Exactly. Drinks on the fair. I like Which that. The Alrighty, let's start. No if or oh my guys, please let's get that straight. <laughs> They'll come and find you. <laughs> if they find me. If 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 they find mm -hmm. you. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, there's a lot of a lot of things to discuss. But yeah. Um. What about your plans for the weekend? What else? None. Are you none okay. for now. I never. I mean, we never I know. Never make plans, yeah. So. Well, not on Monday. Well, you, uh, my, one of my plans is your birthday, hey. of course, of course. All righty. Okay, okay, okay. All righty, um, let's jump right into it because we have a lot in store. I want to be able to get through all the topics. Mm -hmm. Nigerians have warned Lagos State Governor Babajide Somo'olu not to give all the funds of the state to Nigerian singer Bonoboy. This comes after Bonoboy received a phone call from Governor Babajide Somo'olu congratulating him on his Grammy win. Following Bonoboy's homecoming concert in River State, organized by River State Governor Wike, to celebrate his Grammy win where he was where he was lavished millions of naira to him, including a land he gifted um, he gifted him to develop. Some Lagosians have also now raised concerns that Governor Babajide would likely do the same and probably do more for the Afrobeat singer. The video shared online captured the moment Governor Sonolu called Bernard Boy, sending him the congratulatory message, commending him on his achievements. And in Bernard Boy, it was heard him telling the governor how appreciative he was about the call. So Lagosians are basically saying, I beg, I beg, no, these are our funds. What do you think about that? Well, for me, I think it's even a more recognized invitation than that yes it's his own town but these musicians make a lot of money for the Lagos state government mm. every time they have a concert mm. so if it's their way of paying back for all those because let's talk about security anytime they have a concert they are, the police gets involved mm. the last man gets involved the name it mm. the, uh, uh, what's what's it called now the people that pack the debt uh, oh, come on, Loma. Loma. Loma gets involved because there has to be a clean up. So this is creating employment for a lot of people. Yeah. Just one night of concert. So if this is a way of giving back to these artists that make a lot of money for the for the state, then it's cool. I'm actually cool with this one compared to this is yeah. the first time Bonner Boy has been to Port Harcourt since forever mm. so he hasn't even been there but you invited him you gave him yeah. 10 million so if someone should give Bonaboy 100 million he deserves it yeah. because they made enough money for yeah. the state yeah absolutely and i couldn't help but also think i mean obviously i agree with everything that I just said but i could i couldn't help but also think that maybe this is political as well mm. i mean they know that uh, what's it called? If you have the wins, if you have the people that, if you know, if you have the faves of the people, mm. then you also have the people type yeah, of thing. I agree because it's more like damage control. We Absolutely. saw a video that went viral that, um, you know, um, Governor Sonolu was driving out and people were booing him and, mm. you know, chanting all sorts of um, unprintable or unsayable words, right? So, um, it's more like damage control to like okay <laughs> let's 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 just calm things down let's let's go go body with that with yeah. the people's favorite right yeah. now i just yeah. hope that burner boy doesn't actually um become a tool for that i mean i don't have a problem with artists getting involved in politics and using their platform mm. to advocate for who mm. they want but i think i will have a problem with it if it's burner boy just because burner boy has created this um, image Monsters you made. for exactly he's made this image a lot of the times about how he's like you know neutral mm -hmm. and he's not going to allow nepotism to become like the order of the day at least on his watch and all of that mm -hmm. so i think i'll be very i'll be very saddened if he now all of a sudden is coming buddies with these people because he has collected mm -hmm. one or two things. So let's see, basically. Let's see, let's see how it goes. Yeah. Of course, I like I said, I was of this train of thought until I saw what um, Chief Daily Momodu said about, you know, 
artist, um, you know, um, the governors calling them, and then it doesn't stop the artist from still calling out from still calling out the governors if they do not perform up to expectations. So I want to believe a Bona boy is that real. Mm. That even if you are giving me hundred million, me. I mean, and you mess up, I will still call you yeah. out. Yeah, I mean, understand? I really thought Bona boy was gonna do more with Potakot. To mm -hmm. be to mm -hmm. be honest, like the money that he got, I was thinking maybe he hasn't I mean, said anything. Nothing. I think you know school Mama or hospital. Buy, um, uh, a what? Naira Mali um, champagne in the club. Hey, voila. <laughs> <laughs> that just gave me a headache. <laughs> but you see, like, I expected more from him in mm. regards to that. But I just don't want to come out and bash anyone because I don't know for sure mm. if something happened behind the scenes and he just didn't just want to talk about it, which would be kind of weird. Yeah, that's and, not Bona. Exactly. Bona will tell you. Exactly. Bona will uh, tell you we are developing a school. Yeah. Is, and um, even if he doesn't, somebody else will come yeah, out and say. If don't play yeah. with stuff like that, yeah. they would have been out by now. So we do the, the okay. Don't let us say they don't have any. At least for now, there's no plan that yeah. we know of. But let's see. Let's see if this phone call, um, you know, leads to anything. Or else. maybe he's just trying to get enough money to, you know, do something great. Well, like what? I don't know. Start the church. <laughs> 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 okay. April first is famed to be the day for pranksters and far-reaching pranks. But on April first of two thousand and twenty-one, this year. A rumor adequately per permitted uh, Twitter NG with ease. The early hours of the day news that a legendary American rapper and billionaire, Jay-Z, was set to release an African-themed album titled A Session, began to make rounds. Word was that the album would be inspired by his wife's Beyonce's act to feature African superstars like Whiskey, Burner Boy, Tiwa Savage, Bankuli, Techno, Mr. Easy, Busiswa, so, and more, basically. Uh, the Lion King, The Gifts, based, that, that kind of um, concept. Asesho was said to feature African stars like Olamide, Sakode, Femi Kuti, Nasty C, and others. Others featured on the album actually were also going to be Beyonce herself, Rick Ross, and her. So this was a basically like a full-blown you know, album and everything. And then the duo from the Lighthouse family as well. By 9 a.m. that morning, it became obvious that it was an April Fool's Day prank. But in the spirit of the day, Nigerian social media users and media platforms jumped on the news. The greatest trait of the day was how everybody saw the news by congratulating Olamide and Sakode in the spirit of sarcasm. By 12 p.m., Jay-Z was the number one trending topic in Nigeria. Nonetheless, some Nigerian platforms actually published this news like it was valid when it wasn't. For me, I just I think it boils down. It says a lot about our journalism space and mm. um, you know our blogs, our, the sites we go to for facts because it's obvious that there's no fact checking. Because uh, we had the show yesterday, it wasn't on the lineup. It's not like we did not see it. But as I yesterday when I saw this news, I went on Jay Z's um, social media pages. No tweets, no Instagram posts, nothing on this. I went on um, what's it called? Shepardy. No, I went on um, Rockefeller Records. Right. I went on everywhere that I could. There was no news about it. So how can I talk about something that the person in question hasn't said a thing about? I went on Olamide's page, nothing about it. I went on Sarko, there nothing. So why would I be congratulating mm. Olamide or sit on this table and be talking about it? But you saw it on most of our, you know, favorite blog sites and uh, websites where we get information for. And it was there like, oh, Olamide. The Sako, the the rest of them, and I'm like, how? Yeah, so I think I think the, the minute that blogging and journalism began to meet each other, that's when people. I think as we said, it's water it down because blogging is not journalism. Mm. Like anyone can create a website and put it, uh, information mm. on there and say that they're the authority of that website and mm -hmm. it's up to you to now decipher. I think what's happened now, like I think ages ago before, when I used to look up to journalists. Um, it's that I didn't need to worry about whether or not they were correct or not because mm. um, was there wasn't certain. any space for watered, watered down information. And it wasn't in the hands of civilians either. Mm. It was from reputable organizations and they always functioned in that, in that means. So when, uh, I don't want to give anyone's platform now, but maybe when a nice, uh, very popular newscaster says it's, it's raining, then it's raining. But now I think what is happening... When it's raining, you go out. When they say tell you it's raining, you still go out to check it. Zip yes, it exactly. Raining. But yeah, yeah, now what's happened is that anyone can say anything. They can say pigs are flying. And now it's the responsibility of fact-checking has moved from the journalists to the mm, people. So yeah. now we have that responsibility to start to check. I don't know why this April... April Fool's Day, I didn't do anything. Usually, uh, yeah. Yeah, usually, usually you know. yeah, I would do something. And I sent out, like, People you know. People are not so happy, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I, I sent out an invite to some some of my friends that I know that I need, um, you know, um, what's it called? Heads up. 
for my birthday and everything. And nobody re responded until today. And everyone, not nobody, but like some of my friends didn't respond until today saying that, is it still legit? I'm like, what are you talking about? And then they were like, oh, April Fool's, whatever. I'm, ah, you think I have time for that? <laughs> so you can come out and bombarding me with text messages. Like, obviously, you don't know me because I'm not going to um, do that kind of April Fool's. So I think people were conscious about it, but I didn't, I didn't catch that. I didn't get the vibe either. I, think, yeah. I, don't, I don't even think we said anything about it yesterday. In the like, office. Yes, I don't think anyone, uh, I think did, anyone anything. did anything. Yeah. Yeah. I think somebody mentioned something like, Mr. Mr. K, our, our supervisor, said something like, if this is a April Fool's thing, I'm going to... Da, da, da. But oh, it wasn't. That's you realized. Yeah, work. exactly. Anyway, um, let's go on a quick music break. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the music break. We'll be right back with more conversations.